everyone, welcome to my channel, Plant Based Storm. My name is Stormy, and today I'm doing a What I Eat in a Day Maximum Weight Loss. It's the first in this series. Hope you enjoy. So for breakfast, I'm going to do still cut oats. I'm going to add a quarter cup of the oats and then two cups of water. Turn the eye on high and allow this to come to a boil. In the meantime, I'm going to add two shredded carrots. And after the oats have come to a boil, I'm going to turn it down to a low simmer and allow it to cook for about 20 to 25 minutes while stirring it occasionally. Once the oats are nice and thick, I like to add in a teaspoon of vanilla extract and stir that in. I like to add in a little bit of pumpkin pie spice to invoke that fall feeling because I've been in the fall mood for the last couple of days. And then a banana that is mashed and mixed in for some added sweetness. For the non-starchy portion of the meal, I'm doing a whole head of steamed purple kale. And that's it for a simple maximum weight loss breakfast, a delicious carrot cake still cut oats dish, and I add a delicious dressing on top of the kale made with equal parts water, Dijon, and Mandarin balsam. So since I had plenty of fuel to help me get started on the fall garden, I thought I would go ahead and come out here and give you an update about what's going on in the garden since I haven't done that in a while. This is the last bit of summer that's left in my garden and this little satsuma tree has bloomed all over it and looks really beautiful. And my Buena Mulata peppers are still giving us a lot of beautiful purple peppers. I love this little pepper plant because it gives such pretty peppers. The flavor is great and the heat profile is really nice as well. And then this is a, another citrus tree and it's just got blooms on it like the other one does. And my dieta peppers have really slowed down but they're still giving us some and the serranos have also slowed a lot. This is the little kefir lime tree, and we've got some little limes on it. As you can see, most of the garden is all nice and cleaned out and just waiting on me, thanks to my dad who tilled it up for me. And it's got just some flowers left over in it and a couple plants. So these are some broccoli seeds that I've started, and the varieties are Calabrese, Tender Green, and then two rows of Goliath and they should come up pretty quickly. I also have some Brussels sprouts, which I've never grown before, several varieties. One of them is gonna be purple, which is pretty neat. Another really neat thing is I planted uh, something called kale sprouts, and they grow on the stalk just like Brussels sprouts do, but they were crossbred with kale using traditional methods, and I'm super excited about these, and this is what they're going to look like. I ended up sowing six varieties of carrots here and I planted them on top of shallow rows lined with toilet paper which I know seems strange but it's worked for me very well over the last couple of years because carrot seeds are so tiny that if it gets pushed down too deep by the rain they won't germinate so the toilet paper acts like a barrier to help hold them in place until they get established so fingers crossed they will germinate. For lunch, it's a delicious veggie soup with a large potato, three to four carrots, a zucchini, a yellow squash, three cloves of garlic, a whole onion, three ribs of celery, a head of dinosaur kale. Next up is a jar of crushed tomatoes. This is 18 ounces, and I'm going to add that right into the pot. Along with an entire quart of low-sodium vegetable broth. Next up is the seasonings, and this is just done to taste, so I'm adding in here about a tablespoon of thyme, and then this is about a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, one tablespoon of parsley, black pepper to taste, one tablespoon of garlic powder. 
and simply mix all of the ingredients together and cook in the Instapot on the soup setting for 15 minutes. And if you wanted to do this on the stove, then you can bring this to a boil and simmer for about 45 minutes to an hour. I usually eat a soup like this as is for round one, and then if I want seconds, then I will have some pre-made rice with it for a very low calorie and filling nutritious lunch that is super delicious. There's something so satisfying about a homemade vegetable soup. So for dinner, this was a super low calorie dense maximum weight loss chili. It was actually posted earlier this week, so I'll go ahead and add a link above if you would like to make that. This chili is chopped full of vegetables and is, like I said, super low in calorie density. So for round one, I might do like I did with the soup and just eat the chili by itself. And then round two, I would eat the chili with some rice or on top of corn or a base of potatoes. There's so many different things that you can do. And I always like to add in a dollop of my cheese sauce. And this is not a potato-based cheese sauce. It's also a very low calorie density cheese sauce. It's super delicious. I'm going to add that link here for you as well if you'd like to see how to make it. And then just add your favorite toppings to it. Mine are jalapenos and hot sauce. And so this rounds out my day of low calorie density eating for maximum weight loss. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.